Well, good morning everybody and uh, welcome to the plot again. So, I saw a video by Tony C. Smith yesterday, the water butt challenge, and I thought I'd come down, do a little video, uh, which may not make it onto YouTube. It depends if I can get my mallet through the ice on top of the water butt. Um, could be a complete fail. So it's been a bit cold here, very chilly. We were supposed to have minus nine last night. This is in Surrey in the UK. This is not Braemar or Fort William or Alaska. Um, and they, I just had a look at the uh, thermometer down here. Which I'm hoping you can see. So it's, so it's minus 10.3 is the lowest. It's currently minus two. And I've got a couple of water butts. This one is the oddly shaped one. I can feel that the warmth of the sun, what there is of it, has actually been uh, having that one. This is the tapered one, which is more likely to uh, be able to uh, allow me access to the ice. And I can feel it is pretty solid down there. So that's my mallet. And uh, right, I'll see if I can get this out. Oh, disappointing. Oh no, that's, tell a lie. That's the center. That must be about an inch and a half. That's more impressive. <laughs> uh, mind you, that's not really, that's the depth really, rather than the, the thickness over the top. You can see from the prof profile there. So Tony, if you're watching, I don't know what we would call that. Could I call that a foot? Would that be cheating? I think it probably would be. It's actually really nice down here. I honestly didn't think I would be staying given it's minus two centigrade. But I'm sitting on the bench. I see the uh, Salvia Amistad has definitely bought it and um, it's not completely hardy so minus 10 down the end of this part of the allotment may have unfortunately seen it off the heucheras are looking quite nice um, i think i might actually have to chop down the last of the lilies there and of course the uh, the dahlias have turned to mush so i will have to work on those this crazy pluot this cross between an apricot and a plum well I actually see it's got a bit of damage here i'll have to cut that off um, this thing has finally stopped blossoming and its fruit have turned to mush it has got the message although actually you look at the foliage and you think well has it <laughs> it really does need to reset itself And the pond is looking pretty cold as well. I can see little footprints going across the top there. That's going to be pretty solid. So there we have it. I've cracked into that without actually splitting the water butt, which was always a possibility. And that's what I've got out of the centre. And I'd say about an inch and a quarter. So I think Tony's gone and beaten me. I blame the sun for melting it. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.